Puerto Rico has some of the most amazing beaches around its coastline. But in the central part of the island, in the mountainous region, these mountains climb up over 4,000 feet. Today, I'm at Piedra Escrita in Hayuya. This is where you will find the written rock or petroglyphs from the indigenous Taino. One particular petroglyph here that is unique is of the Coqui. The Coqui is the island's mascot here and we love it very much. It sings us to sleep every night. The Coqui is so important to the locals and to me as well. It's immortalized in stone by the indigenous Taino in this Piedra Escrita. As you travel along the north coast of Puerto Rico, you'll take a southern route, 140. It's an adventurous route with some twists and turns and also some steep inclines as well. But if you're up for the adventure, you will be amazed at what you're going to see along the way, all the way here into Hayuya. Our route begins along the north coast of the island. The Expressway 22 is a direct highway towards the west coast of the island. As highlighted in other videos I have made, you will pass a very popular area just before Arecibo, including one of the most popular beaches on the island, Mar Chiquita. In this area, you will also find an outlet mall and the Cueva del Indio, the Indian cave which houses a large collection of petroglyphs inside a coastal cave nestled among the beautiful seven arches. Heading south will find you surrounded by the majestic mountains of Puerto Rico. Once in Hayuya, you will see La Escrita, a great spot to enjoy a beer with occasional live music. This is also the parking for the trailhead for La Piedra Escrita. Take the beautiful scenic wooden boardwalk down to the stream and the famous petroglyph stone is right at the base of the boardwalk. You will see the famous petroglyph of the Coqui as well as the Caracol. After enjoying this beautiful location, a half mile down the same road you will find La Hacienda San Pedro, a coffee hacienda that has been on the island for four generations. This is a great spot for a coffee, espresso, or my favorite, cortadito, which is an espresso cut with just a little bit of milk. After your coffee, continue down the same road an additional half mile and you will arrive at the Semi Museum. At this beautiful location nestled in the mountain valley, you will learn about the Taino and see artifacts from the indigenous people of the island. Now that you are in the center of the island, you may want to visit Ponce or Lajas or Cabo Rojo. The island of Puerto Rico is 35 by 100 miles. Our mountains rise up over 4,000 feet elevation. We have beautiful lighthouses dotting our four distinct coastlines. We have the third largest cave network in the world, which is where you will find many indigenous petroglyphs from the Taino. Explore this beautiful island and its beautiful people. Remember that it is their land, so be mindful and respectful. You will have the best experience if you learn a few words of Spanish and practice them here with the locals. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. You can see more videos here.